All right. Welcome back to Reality Lives with the Ives. I'm Katie. And I'm Will. We are mixing it up today, giving the person what he wants. So I will just stop right there and let you take it away and kind of tell the peeps what we're getting into today. I think we all know a storm has been brewing for a while now. I feel the like greatest that was time of the- like a wave than a storm. But carry I, f- on. I feel like storms on the ocean carry waves. So anywho. Mm, deep. So the greatest time of the year is finally here. And I know a lot of people when I say that are going to be like, well, it's not Christmas time. It's not the holidays. What <laughs> are you talking about? It's not Katie's birthday. No. Yet. But it's my, and for some of my fellow folks out there, the greatest time of year because tomorrow, tomorrow is the first football Sunday of the year, which means the greatest pastime on earth, fantasy football, is back. Ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, we people made it. World. It's here. People of the world. Spice up your uh, life. Play some football. Ba, 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 da. Set your lineups. Okay. Ooh, yeah. So. Um, we're not gonna yeah. we're not gonna throw too much at you, but we thought, you know what? Reality lives, what's more real than fantasy? <laughs> Nothing, obviously. So we want to walk you through the Ives journey of fantasy football because it's become a major part of our lives, of our house, of almost even kind of my personality, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but <laughs> it's a bad thing. I feel like it's a bad maybe, maybe thing. we should take him back, right? Take him back to the beginning and kinda <laughs> How do we get to this point? How do we get to a point where we're even talking about this, right? Let's take a trip back to yesteryear. Uh, the year was maybe 2015. Hmm. We got together 2014, almost a decade. You got into football, not the second we started dating, but like our first apartment was when I think I got into fantasy mm. with the checkered kitchen floor. I was playing fantasy for the first year ever when we met because my first year ever doing a fantasy draft, I had to auto draft because I was working at the movie theater. Oof. I know. That's what a, disgraceful. What an embarrassing way that to start is horrendous. your fantasy career. If you know, you know. But you know me. I want to embarrass myself, but yeah. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's Possibly some people out there who have no effing clue what we're talking about. So let's just, I think I could explain it since I'm a little less in the yeah. deep trenches of it all. Let's hear your thoughts. In layman's terms, in you know my terms as somebody who's played for several seasons now, probably almost 10, um, if not like 9 or 10, fantasy football is essentially a game <laughs> that grown ass men men <laughs> play women too yeah. people of all ages maybe i love it you know admittedly it is essentially a game that makes watching football more fun everybody drafts a team of players that are playing in the nfl currently sets their lineups etc and gets points for how the actual player performs in a real game so it's super fun it's a way to kind of make the games more interesting to watch if it's not a team you care about per se and it gives you know your friends and everybody a reason to kind of get together shoot the shit and just like have more fun with the football season it has tremendously upped my interest in football i am a die hard chicago bears fan bear fucking down have been since birth because of my family my dad shout out gary my brother family of bears fans he is the same way thank god and so i've always been into it i've always watched like bears games and stuff like that but now i am watching every game on thursday all day sunday monday night and it just makes everything so much more exciting and fun and just brings the people together. So for Will, you know, I got to thank Will for getting me into it because he definitely forced me. I think you guys needed a player and you forced me to join 
an all guys league with all of our best friends. Um, and I mean, the year's still going strong and I love it. So I'm now in four different leagues, started a all female league, shout out female fantasies. And well, let's, let's, let's slowly get the people there. Right. You know, well, I was just saying like a brief synopsis of my journey, but, fair, fair, but fair. you're right. Carry on. You know, it's interesting. I've spent a lot of time thinking to myself, why do I love fantasy football so much? Because truly, if you know me, I'm obsessed. Ugh. Understatement. Probably beyond. Yeah. I mean, Katie cries thinking about Taylor Swift, which is fair. As one should. I realistically probably spend more than an hour at least every single day looking at fantasy football stuff. On Reddit. Only an hour. You think an hour? I said at least. (laughs) If this man is not working or like eating or like taking a sip of water, he's on his fucking phone. You would think this man's having an affair. The amount of times he's like giggling and laughing in his little group chats. And I don't even flinch because I know he is texting all of his fucking fantasy nerds and I let him have it. But... You're a phonaholic, and it's 99% of the time doing a mock draft, which is, like, so fucking dumb. Mock draft, chatting with his, like, buddies in his leagues, or he's researching a player, or watching old tape. So, yeah, shout that's out. our life. <laughs> Even when it is not football season, this man does that. So, it's fun for me. And there's, there's a reason. We'll, we'll get there. Which Shout out. Ridiculously, the reason is obsession and unhealthy addiction. I have a Karen. Facebook <laughs> chat. I have a Facebook chat with ten other grown adults. One of them used to be in the league. He's not anymore, but he's still in the chat. Shout out Ted. That was uh, important. That was people important might be know. like ten other people. Eleven. There's not eleven in the league. The math doesn't add up. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we talk every day. I can't think of a day in the last five years where someone hasn't been active in the chat that day. I think it's more like every hour. I mean, there's there's so much text in this group that I it would take me days to scroll all the way to the top of when we started this group chat because we actually someone we're a pretty nerdy league, someone did the analytics on how many messages we've all sent like in this chat and what that looks like. Oh gosh. It's in the tens of thousands or something just crazy. Um And with that I say get a life. Okay. But no, I'm hey, whoa. I was talking about my journey. You talked about your journey. We're talking about my journey now, okay? I mean, your journey is going to take five hours, but let's give well, a little summary. I want to say why I care. Yeah. The whole point of why I was saying this, like, I've been very introspective, trying to understand why do I love this so much. And I think what it is, gambling is fun, but it's difficult to gamble in a way that you feel like you have control or you can influence it and you can put actual work and intelligence into your profitability. Most of the time you can't, right? Now you can. You can get better at poker. You can get better at craps, all that kind of stuff. But still, to a degree, there's limited control. Fantasy is amazing. The more research you do, the more you try, the more you pay attention, the better you're going to do. Until you- that player walks onto the field and breaks his ankles in the first five minutes of the game. Yes. And Fantasy, the research is trash. There's a lot of luck involved. But <laughs> yeah. I said it once and I'll say it again. No, you're right, though. I have done a lot of leagues consistently for a number of years now. I have been profitable playing fantasy football every single year for the last like six or seven in a row. Every single year, I bet a good amount of money and I always make more than I bet. So that's why I can't say, oh, I have a 100% hit rate going to casino and making money. No, no one can say that. But I'm saying that with fantasy football. So that's the sense of it, right? Mm -hmm. Put work in, influence it. And to Kay's point, god damn, makes it so much more fun watching football. Yeah. It really does. Absolutely. Um, so I think we can just kind of quickly talk about the leagues that we are in together. As stated, he is in way too many to get into. Oh yeah. He literally probably has every NFL player on one of his fucking rosters. That's why I always love watching football with Will. Not that I have a choice. But because he's like, oh, that's my boy. Oh, he'll talk to one of our friends and be like, oh, you have Mixon? Me too. I'm like, you have everyone on this fucking team. On one of your teams. Not true. You have 75% 
no. of the NFL I, on one of your teams. Do not draft list. All right. Specifically, didn't draft any Chiefs players this year, which mistake. If you watch the game, oh, uh, was it? Was it? Because it felt like a genius move. We after know Thursday. what happened game one. We're not going to get into it. But yes, she's right. I am obsessed. I think I own maybe 10 to 12 jerseys and only one or two is a Bears jersey. So I do. I've got players that I love that I'm truly obsessed with. Let's just take a little tangent for a second down Jersey Avenue. Oh, man. The jerseys of it all. I wish they were hanging behind us right now. I That'd don't. Be so cool. Sure don't. Okay. So again, diehard Bears fans. I am not wearing a jersey of a team that is not the team that I'm a fan of. This man has, again, one jersey of each fucking team in our closet over there. It is so disrespectful to the Bears. And, you know, I will say, actually, you peer pressured the fuck out of me one year to get a jersey of the quarterback for my dynasty league because I won the season prior with this quarterback. And I thought, you know what? He won me the season. I'm going to get the jersey. I will never wear it over like a Bears jersey or some Bears memorabilia, but I will have it, maybe wear it when they play and the Bears aren't playing. And then I got the jersey. What jersey was and it? And I well, and then I wore it. Maybe like one to two times max. I think once. And then it happened. Massage parlor gate. It was a Deshaun Watson. <laughs> it was a Deshaun Watson, excuse me, jersey. Houston Texans. He took me all the way several seasons back now. And this, my friends, is why you don't betray the home team. It was so funny. I repped oh my God. another player, another team. I went outside of my comfort zone, betraying the loyal Chicago Bears who have done nothing but bring me happiness. Oh, it's a lie. Bring me a lot of sadness and frustration. But anyways, alas, went <laughs> against the grain, out of my comfort zone, threw on a fucking uh. trader's jersey, and then... The man has been cursed ever since. So, so that just is proof from the universe, Miss, what's the mother nature, if you will, that no, you absolutely not. never betray your team's allegiance. So again, mother nature is not the universe. Mother nature is like mother nature Earth. is important to me. Okay. okay. We're not very religious. I like the universe, nature. That's fine. That's Why are you a, telling me they're different things. My God. Okay, but uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was the anything. funniest thing ever because I was so excited for this jersey. She wears it one time, one time, and the man's life isn't changed. And then a Sean Watson comes out, and it's like, oh, he's gotten forty-five massages. Oh, from the man likes a hand women. job, and, likes a massage with a happy ending, and who knows what else. <laughs> it was. It was. Uh, it yeah. was upsetting, and I still have him on my dynasty league on the bench. Well, it's because so, I mean, you've you've referenced it a few times. So I think we need to talk about dynasty football and what what that means. Uh, Ugh, that is such a tangent. Well, it's I not was a tangent. Say we should just talk well, about. No, we have to explain dynasty, otherwise it makes no sense. Why okay, I own you get these jerseys? Thirty seconds to explain well, dynasty. Think about it. Why would you own that jersey if it wasn't for dynasty? And no one understands that because so here's the thing: two forms of <laughs> fantasy everyone's football. Everyone's dying to know. So you tell them. Hey, the true ones do. I know y'all love y'all. There is a normal fantasy of football. You have a draft before football starts. You have these players in your team throughout the season. Season ends. Wash your hands of it. Boom. Off season. Eight months later, you do it again. New team. That's every normal season. fantasy football as it's always existed. The better form, the one that I love and why we own jerseys to help you understand. We. Because <laughs> you wouldn't just own a jersey for a player that half the year you have nothing to do with. But for Dynasty, it's similar to the NFL where you draft these players and you have them for as long as you want. You have them for their entire career. You could have them for a year. You get them for a month, drop them, trade them, whatever have you. So in layman's term, he's essentially saying instead of drafting a new team of new players, having a different team every year, you are keeping 
your team from the year prior and then only drafting rookies and new talent. Yep, exactly. Yes. So that's why she said it earlier. So I, I spent a lot of time. Deshaun had him next season, said, round two, let's go. And he said, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> the law was like, no, no, you can't do that, sir. So <laughs> actually made a really funny parody video featuring a little massage scandal. Oh, my God. It that was... we'll never see nope. YouTube. Nope. But... <laughs> But the real ones, they've seen it. Yeah. And it's amazing. Our Dynasty League now. Also, our, our Ted Lasso video from last year is pretty great, too. <laughs> yeah. he. Uh, wow. <gasps> That's something we could maybe show. We could probably show it. Oh, uh, that, um, that was something. But so the jerseys that we had for, for players that were on our Dynasty teams, because I know February, Super Bowl's over. In March, I still have these players. I'm still responsible for them. So Again, I until do. they break their ankles in the first cool. five seconds of hey, the game. I have players that, that I... Do truly love number one overall. Justin Herbert. Oh yeah, I Jay gonna, Herbo. Oh okay. my God, that man. I could have a whole episode just talking about him. <laughs> Basic. But we do so sorry. have unbelievable tickets to the Bears. Chargers I knew you were going to say this. You're going all over the place. Oof. Say your damn jersey thing, and then okay. we'll say that. So, but yeah, I got a lot of jerseys because that's how Dynasty works. Which this I is think a podcast is maybe, about Will's jersey collection. Maybe a good time to pivot into the start of our dynasty league and kind of how amazing that first year was. You've talked about it a few times. Okay. <laughs> well, that <laughs> was it. Was so amazing. I don't really a, know what you're talking about. That was a major flop. All, All right, right so won. yeah, you idiot, Jesus. <laughs> She's like, oh, that was a pretty boring one. Yeah, this is the memory in this one. So I was the year was 2020. First year dynasty draft. COVID garden. I'm the only one of the people in this group that's played this before. So we start off. We're going. <laughs> Thinks he's gonna take it. <laughs> I know. I'm making some trades. I'm killing it. People are getting mad. Call me mean names because they're jealous because they didn't know what to do. Anywho, sure. sure. Yep, that's so, why. Totally. Lead, leading into playoffs, we get to a point where me and Katie are both making playoffs and we're on opposite sides. Which means there's a rare, very rare, but possible chance that if we both won all of our games, we'd face each other in the championship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a preface. We're playing with competitive people, great friends of ours. All of our guy friends. People Ooh. that know we have an ego and we're very oh. annoying. And it's don't... their worst nightmare for us to be in the top two. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> and so what does she does? What, what does he does? does? What does he does? We make it. What do we does, babe? So, so the first year, all these people are so excited. Was it, we spent a good amount of money. A lot of work, obviously. <laughs> and what happens? It ends up being an Ives-only championship. So everyone else has to just sit here and watch. As we're looking at here being like, huh, recently married. We we're, got married we're, that year. Yeah, we're taking prior. everyone's money, no matter what. Bought a house. All of the money. Good year. All the money is coming to House Ives, no matter what. So whether I win, whether she wins... We're winning, and the league hates it. And they probably would have preferred I won because I <laughs> put more work, more energy, more time into it. But uh, this <laughs> sneaky son of a gun over here, yeah, she, oh, she the she devil. Took it. Yep. But it's okay. I took it and I ran with it, baby. I had a photo shoot with that trophy. Ah, oh, my name is forever the first name on our fantasy trophy. So gotta love that for me. Um, and fast forward two years later. I won again, and now two again. or three years. It's your first time winning that league. That league, sure. Please. I met an Ives won again. It was Apologies. you, then Tom. Or no, it was myself, then Tom, then you. Yeah. And now so two it out of shall three be years. me again. Oh, well, your team is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that? That's wrong. You're wrong for that. You're wrong for that. It is way too early. He does this every fucking for year. For anyone that knows. Every year after the draft. Tony last night. After the, you literally, I asked this man's advice. I don't think he was even in yet. And I was like, oh, because I didn't have anybody going on Thursday. And that's the Thursday night itch. Don't be confused by the Thursday night itch. It's so Resist hard not to scratch it, temptation. though. Temptation. Oh, it's like a mosquito bet... bite. I'm sorry. Are you talking? Yeah. <laughs> this man. He thought he was going to be the passioned one on this episode. But no, every Thursday comes around. 
first game of the week is Thursday night. Awesome, fun game usually. But if you don't have a player in the game, you get really tempted. You know, if you have one on the bench that's not starting, you get very tempted to say, what if I just throw them in the flex just so it makes the game more exciting to watch? So I had that itch. And she scratched it. Made the mistake of asking this fool about it. And, of course, it's the first game of the whole season. So, of course, he's like, yeah, throw them in. It'll make the game great. Dude fucking eats it. I might trade him. He's dead to me, maybe. Um, one one thing about me. For one yard. One thing about K Dog Squad. We ain't playing games. You suck. You're cut. You're done. Whereas you're like, oh, it was a bad week. It was a bad matchup. So and so is out. So this other guy was playing in the backfield and he had to uh, cover for about. No. Hey. Tony Kadarius. Get to work. I Go run some people. laps, you lazy bum. You suck. Okay. Hey, I go down with the ship. All right, my guys, DK, Herbo, even Kyler, who's everyone's down on, says he's a terrible leader, coming off an ACL injury. I still got you, Kyler, okay? I, I won't let you down. I don't everybody hates him as much as you think. I mean, if you listen to stuff right now, he's not getting a lot of love. Oh, I'm not. And so yet she still does well. This is the thing about fantasy that I love. This man dedicates his blood, his sweat, his tears, his sleep, his sanity and well-being to research and give this thing his all in hopes of achieving glory in the end. I live my life in the off-season, do my thing. About like a few days before the draft, I go, I should probably like know who some of the rookies are this year i open my computer uh, read i'm like yeah sure whatever get to the draft this man's got all his notes his fucking strategies he's he's fucking mock drafted his order a thousand times i randomly roguely do it and i gotta say for how many seasons i've played so far i've won a handful of times so do yeah. with that as you will. You've won two of the different leagues we've been in before. The family I've won league. three times. I have won nice the family day. league. I've won the big money league. And I've won... When did you win big oh, money? Oh, I didn't win the big no, money you league. You got second. Just like I got I second to Dom. The night I got engaged, we got engaged. Only because Gronk, may he RIP. Just kidding. He's alive. He's not playing anymore. <laughs> RIP in the league. All he needed was four fucking points and i am not a patriots girly so i was already like "Ooh, don't you fuck me but i'm like grok four points easy money baby woo grok got zero points that game literally despite me and i lost but i got second place still won money got engaged and won the family league that same year yeah it was a good year so it's tough i've won a few times and i'm not makes you hit yourself it really does make you hate yourself when, Not me. when things don't go well. I remember a number of years back, Michael Crabtree, my championship game. All I needed was three points from him to be a champion in two different leagues. What does he does? What does he, he get, does? He gets you in a fight. That the whole podcast. He gets what in a does fight. He does? Yeah. That's not proper. Uh, obviously, it's a phrase what that people What does he does? Say. What does and he do? What does she does? It's a split. No, it's a, it's a movie of some sort or a TV show. What does know. he does? I, and what does is... he does? No. Anyways. <laughs> That's a Will original, Michael I think. Michael Crabtree had to be a badass, rip someone's necklace off, try and fight him, gets ejected from the game, zero points, lose two championships. Uh, yeah, but no. Okay. Big money league. We both lost. We both got second place. Hux, I got second place last year. Tom, you son of a gun. So, yeah, so we have a dynasty league that's kind of a mix of our guy friends and then our good guy friends, like coworkers and some of his other friends that are super into football. And we've been doing that for the last few years, last few seasons, excuse me, seasons, years, pretty much the same thing, um, season a year. Um, and then we have our most important, at least to me, my favorite league is what we call our big money league. That is the first league I joined almost a decade ago. Your first league, I want to say as well, obviously. Mm-hmm. It is the league with our like 
core group of best guy friends. I'm the only girl in it still. Not mad. Um, no, I love it. It's super fun, even though no one fucking listens to anything I say. And they're annoying as fuck. But here we are. Still still in it. Have a tattoo on my ass to show for it. I was literally I last season. hoping that we could lead to that better. But- I... I'm not going to be showing on camera because I don't think YouTube allows butts. Yeah. Um, but I str- <laughs> but I strategically put it towards the upper cheek so that I could whip it out and show my friends. So I will be showing everyone when we are back home next weekend for a wedding. So to preface, because I don't think she explained, we have a punishment in that leak. So I was sure going to ask her. Hey, Serious Katie, business. Can you tell us what last year's punishment was? And who earned it? I think well, we actually referenced just this did. already on an old episode. Maybe did. Because I was about to go get but it. We can't know that everyone listened to this. Listen to those. Mm-hmm. So fair. Yes. Or yes. Ooh. Ooh. Jinx. So spooky. So spooky. I'm so okay. annoying and unhinged right delayed. now. I am very hungry. I worked out for like an hour and a half. I'm amped. I'm on the juice. Same. The juice is Celsius. Everyone relax. PR the today. juice is just That's a good. Celsius. But <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we have a punishment in this league. Yeah, she's been killing it lately. Uh, I I'm wearing a high neck open back dress. Got to get these guns gunning. Okay, but yes, big money league winner wins a lot of money. Big money, honey. Loser does a punishment every year. A lot. Or a couple times now, we have made it, part of my French, an ass tattoo. Our friend no. Sean, who officiated our wedding, God bless him, got it first a couple seasons back. And now, this season, it was K-Dog's turn. Many seasons back. Many seasons back. Yes. In fact, the first punishment. And then we had a really good punishment that someone was supposed to do. And then... Oh, the belly button. They got soft. Yeah, this was a pierce the belly button. And then make a rap video wearing a belly shirt. About and then they could immediately they remove football. the piercing. Yeah, And we didn't say they had to like put this out there on YouTube. Just no. make it so we could see it. But uh, no, they thought I would rather leave my friends, my family, my brethren. Literally. My because I'm afraid. So Pussy. we end up uh, naming the loser trophy. After I'm them. just going to say it. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, it was a friend of ours who did not take our threats seriously. If you don't do the punishment, and we agree at the beginning of the season, we all agree, we all vote, it's fair. So if you get to the end and you lose and you are not going to do the agreed upon, voted on punishment, you're out. Your ass is grass. You're not back next season. You're out. And this is cutthroat. I mean, again, it's almost a decade going. I think we will be in this league, knock on wood, for the foreseeable future. It's like our lifelong best friend league. You know, I would say so. And it's yeah. the money's getting higher and higher and it's super fun. So to be out, sucks to suck. We actually then named, we thought it was appropriate to make a loser trophy since we have a winner's trophy. And we then named that loser's trophy after, after the said. loser who left the league. Yes. So don't think you're watching this. Don't care. See you next weekend. Okay. <laughs> He'll be at the wedding. So okay. let's be kind. No, All no right. hard feelings. Okay. No hard feelings. I can call him a loser. All I think right. it's loser behavior to commit to something that's fun and all fun and games and then to back out when somebody literally seasons prior tattooed their body. Come on. You know? You can tell with her newfound tattoo that there's some extra passion there. So uh I yeah. have made this tattoo my entire personality. I'm not mad. I like it. I love it. It's great. It was made for me. So you're welcome. Or thanks, I should say. Okay. I'd like to talk about my newest league for a little bit. I think we can. Also the family league if you want. We have a family league. It's very cash. It's fun, though, because it's both of our dads, siblings, a mix of all that. And it's really fun. It's a way. We try and teach him how to play, but her dad (laughs) like forgets every year. (laughs) Again and like never figures out. He drafted how to... like a kicker really early. He's also auto drafted like eight times because he yeah. like just can't figure out how to get into. He's the like draft. on the computer with his little mini glasses. Like oh, he got a like, cell Dad. phone for the first time like two yeah. years ago. Like get so. the fucking Yahoo app. But anyways, <laughs> we have sent. It's 
it's like our least dedicated league, but we honestly keep it going for our dads because they want to play and that's the only league they do, obviously. And they're, and they're good people. They deserve it. No, it's fun. It's a fun it's fun to have the chat and shit talk. I'm versus my dad this week. <clears throat> he had Kelsey out. Sucka karma. Ouch. Um I really wanted Kelsey in that league, so that's what he gets for crossing the K Dog. Um but yes, so family league. It's a fun, light, cash league. Doing it for the dads. Doing it for the dads. And then... <laughs> woo! I just want everyone to know I am stone cold sober. It is she truly is in the morning. She is becoming unhinged. I'm, I'm happy. I'm in a good mood. It's Saturday. Short work week. It's fun a thing. Saturday. It's a Saturday. Real one snow. Party down south. Ugh. Chef's kiss. Go ahead and watch that after this if you know it's good for you. Episode one, season yes. one. Oh, Holy my smokes! God. The best show ever. Okay. Besides this, <laughs> kidding. Okay. So this year, I thought it was time. I have toyed around with the idea for the last few seasons, gotten some interest from my gal pals, and I think last year I was really going to do it, and then I just was in several other leagues because I joined another dynasty league. Quit that. Losers. Sorry, Emilio. Love you. Your friends suck. Um, wow. And well, his friends like barely participate. But, anyways, yeah, they did so. So, moving on. We're not getting on that tangent. It's irrelevant. But, yes, I think I disappointed some of my friends last year not going through with creating an all gals league. Um, so, this year, although it's like the busiest year of our life right now with just travel, work, and all that kind of extracurricular stuff. Good problem to have. But I thought it is time. I am only doing three leagues. What's a one more? I've done like five or six before. So I'm like, four is doable. It's girl time. Got some of my Austin homies, my Chicago best friends, my sister. Good mix of old friends, new friends, family, people that are... I didn't just invite all of my best girlfriends. I was very strict and cutthroat. I'm like serious contenders only. I don't care if you have a lot of football knowledge, but you need to set your lineups. You may not auto draft if you ever forget to set a lineup or leave a player in that is like injured, suspended on IR. You're done. I am so serious because it's not fun being in a league with people who just don't take it serious. Seriously. Excuse me. Especially when there's money on the line. So again, if I was going to do it, going to do it right. Got a group of 10, including myself, serious gals, all very dedicated. We drafted. We're on. It's very exciting. You know, it's fun to kind of get my friends into a passion of mine. You know, you got me into it. And I, you know, as much as I give you a hard time, I really love it too. It makes the season just so much fun. I mean, I love football. I've always loved football. It's always been my my favorite sport to watch, but astronomically more because of this game. So it's just fun to see my friends getting into it and asking questions and stuff like that. So it's been really fun and just wanted to mention that shout out to the female fantasies. Woo. I are going say, down this week, Alicia. I don't care that you're getting married. <laughs> yeah. Suck it. Uh, I we'll will see. say piece of advice for all my guys out there or gals yes. or whatever you, you know, describe yourselves as if you do fantasy football and your partner doesn't get yes, them absolutely. into it i now have all day sunday football no matter what and she's bought in too there's no fighting <laughs> over it there's no whatever like the unless expectation the bachelor is, is on is on a monday night I'm, I'm still watching football although sometimes i'm nice i'll put on my laptop and let her use the tv because you know i want to be kind yeah but uh it's amazing it's a game changer I'm wearing jerseys. I'm wearing football gear. She's buying me football gear. We build entire weekend thoughts and plans are on Sunday. So if Ooh, you're out there. Now, tell them what we have going next month. I think that's a good segue. Weekend plans around a game. The LA one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think I just like bury the lead. I think I, I, think I mentioned the... it earlier in the episode, but I want to give a shout out. I think we actually sent the last one to Riley specifically and mr grassy get that hood off the curls <laughs> so they're sorry. still drying so what are you doing woman i let this man or i gave this man a mullet 
and Gosh. things have escalated quickly. Yeah, this tattoo is part of her personality. So is this mullet, apparently. This is mini mullet, mini episode. mullet. But anyways, yes. It's a mullet. <laughs> Fantastic gentleman out in LA that works for the Chargers organization. Super nice, super amazing guy. Excited to see you next month. Was kind enough to offer us tickets to what is, in my opinion, the best possible game that I can go see. Chicago Bears, LA Chargers, Justin on Justin, the two best quarterbacks in the, in the league. Sorry, my home. At SoFi, baby. Oh, my gosh. We going to and- SoFi Stadium. <sighs> Woo! 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 Wow, I'm that was too much. really excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As you should be. If you I can't mean, tell. We're, Bear down. We're going to lose it. I'm I'm trying to currently figure out our outfits because she's got this super oh, super bad oh, shout out jacket. kit NFL collection the quite possibly the sickest piece of clothing I've ever owned and I own some sick shit ugh they're out of my size and hers doesn't fit me it's pretty pretty sad um I, I love actually it. I actually blame Mel for not telling us sooner so Mel if you're listening I, blame I don't you. blame her because if she didn't tell us at all I wouldn't have this fucking well, I don't have anything so I get to blame her you can thank her I blame her anywho you should be thanking her for your wife's happiness Ooh. Mm, no now I'm even more jealous. excited for the game the yeah. fact that I got the jacket I was like I'll go to the game now <laughs> I'll, th- I'll th- noodle on that one for a little while uh, but anywho gonna be amazing yes <sighs> cannot wait for this game very rare that the chargers play the bears i mean it might not happen again for you know a year two three five six yep. seven and by that point who knows where either justin's gonna be so this could be the only opportunity to maybe see these two guys battle it out and just any opportunity we get to go to a bears game is so special oh, i mean it really we is. moved to texas as you all know and Bears don't come here very often, if really at all. Yep. So we have had no opportunities in the last several years to see a Bears game, and we were itching. We saw a Cowboys game last year. That was fine, you know, but we want to see the Bears. So, well, we, wait. We, they played the Bears, babe. Yeah, I just, because I, I was like, wait, I, I wore like, that. Wow, is she trash shirt. talking the Bears right now? I'm an idiot. No, it was They good. did play the Cowboys. We got stomped, and there was some it really, was really aggressive Cowboys unpleasant. fans around us, which did make it less enjoyable. Jerry World, really cool. Oh, my God. The bars surrounding that stadium were a riot. We had so much fun. Order into your seat. We got That's pretty way cool. too drunk. Ugh, well, that was kind of slow, but it was a cool concept. Cool yeah, idea. yeah. They got to work out some kinks so, with that. SoFi's going to be better. I have it on good, um, what's that phrase? Good. Authority. Good authority. Nice. That yeah. SoFi is like the best stadium in the league. Yes. So, the mm, creme money. de la creme. And it's interesting because that is the last weekend of October, Halloween weekend. We will be in L.A. the first weekend of October for our friend's wedding and then coming back again, literally only for this game. But it is so worth it to both of us. I keep saying this is Will's heirs tour, this oh game. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm really excited. Be emotional. We don't know our seats. We don't know any of that. We're just happy to be there. If I am in the parking lot tailgating, I'm happy. So... It's going to be a good time. Really fortunate to have awesome friends that, you know, know how much this means to this guy and thought of us. So we're spoiled for sure. Yeah. I mean, I would say the wedding next weekend is the the event I'm most excited for the rest of this year. Let's take a, let's make a shout out next weekend. Our best friends, my best girlfriend and his best friend are marrying each other, which is best man. And, maid of honor? Yes, and we are the best man and the maid of honor. It's like something you see in oh, the movies, kids. Don't let me hang in. Oh, hi, best man. Oh, hi, I'll be the best man. I am honored, but I'm also called a maid, so yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I'm a maid of honor. That's a they got to change that. I'm actually, I'm actually a matron of honor, which sounds horrendously old because I'm married. Old. So I'm and technically matron a matron of honor. Of honor. Let me help. Be down the aisle. Oh God! I'm the All right. Patron of honor. <laughs> so let's let's wrap things up. I had to cut that. <laughs> with uh, no, let's wrap things up. With let's each talk about fantasy football. Let's say like our most who what players are most excited about that we have. That's Something fine. Like that, I'll do that, and I'll give my one piece of advice. A good piece of advice. For okay, the whole, let's everyone. do that. Like okay. the most excited players we have, and then like our each of us will give like one piece of fantasy wisdom to those actually okay 
I'll do my player first, and then I'll go last on player. my advice. Just one. Yeah. I okay. mean, there's a lot of players. I'm just, babe, I could talk all day about No, players. I know. You're right. So I'm going to pick one. <laughs> Reel it in. Reel it in. The one I normally would pick is actually a person I'm going to talk about with my advice, so I'm not going to choose them. Oh, Instead, Lord. the player that I'm picking this year that I'm going all in on, Elijah Moore. Mm. This man, late round draft pick, I think eighth round, ninth round maybe, not sure, but he's going to be the wide receiver too to start the year for Deshaun Watson. Call back to earlier. Probably by the end of the year, going to be the wide receiver one. He's shown flashes of brilliance. He's had some personality issues and some challenges with coaches. So we'll see if he's able to work that out. But that's my guy that I'm super excited for. I got him in two dynasty leagues, a few redraft. I've got his jersey. So that's my guy that I'm super excited for. This is his chance to turn his career around, remind everyone who he is, and truly cement himself as one of the new exciting guys to watch. So Elijah Moore, I believe in you. You got this. Interesting. My take's not that hot. Um, you know, in Dynasty, there is one man, ride or die, gets me through. He is the only thing I have had these last several years in Dynasty. Because again, if we all remember Will's lesson, we keep the same players and roll it over to the next season, minus the rookies, obviously. So this man's been with me. He's a ride or die. A lot of people have been proposing trades ed stop it <laughs> it's not happening I'm trying to get this man for me for years i will never let this man go he's all i have that man is the big d derrick henry not an unpopular opinion King henry. he's been the goat for a while he's always one of my like treasured players you know some other players i can think of i'm excited about maybe like a Brees hall excited to see what's going to happen with that Got him at least on one, and he's going to be a starter for me this week. So fingers crossed for that. I have to also note, unfortunately, I don't have these players, but I am, like I said, diehard Bears fan, but I am also a big Mahomes girly. Mahomes, QB of the year. Let's go. Looking okay. at Mahomes, rooting for Mahomes. Also love his wife and his family. Justice for Brittany. And that's yeah. that's my take. Do you have any uh any advice? Any one piece of advice for for people out there if they're new or part of the fantasy football community? I'll give like a couple. Just give one. No. Um one <laughs> nah. Well, one very obvious one that seems obvious, but to a new player like a lot of the girls in my new league don't know this. Stream defenses. Do not keep the same defense every week. When you draft, which is too late now, everybody's drafted, draft a kicker, obviously, and a defense last. No one cares about your defense. Every week, that team is playing a different offense, so why would the defense perform the same every week? Unless they're like just a powerhouse, like old school Bears defense. Very rare. There is maybe a couple elite defenses a season. Doesn't matter, really. Stream a defense every week. Look at the matchups and pick a defense that's ranked high that week. It's an obvious tip, but some people like ride a defense all year and the defense gets like one point half the year. And it's like, why are you keeping this loser defense? Change it. So that's like an obvious rookie easy one. Nice. That's good. And you're going to give a much hotter take, I'm sure. Yes or no? Um, not hotter, more complex. Yeah. I've been thinking this since I watched the Thursday night game. Oh, the other player that I'm truly, truly excited for, Jameer Gibbs. And I watched him play on Thursday. Giblets. And it was incredible. I mean, he looks unbelievable. So my tip is there's a lot of people out there. They're going to look at Thursday night's game and say, hmm, David Montgomery is a starter. He's going to be a starter all year. He performed. I wasted, I wasted an early round pick on Gibbs. And people that are thinking that, now's your chance. Mm. Go and trade for Jameer Gibbs. In Dynasty, no one's going to do it. Don't even bother. But in redraft, in those leagues out there that people are starting to be like, shit, did I waste an early pick on the wrong guy? 
Mm. Go and go and take that. Use their fear to your advantage and offer offer something. You know, maybe maybe a David Montgomery plus you know like a wide receiver something like that. But my thought is, Jameer Gibbs, if he stays healthy, is going to be a league winner, especially the second half of the season. Mm. So go get gotta him get now. me some Gibbs because you just saw his worst game probably for the rest of the season. So hot take, uh, hot yeah. take. So why got for you? Take. Thanks, babe. Thanks. Yeah. So I think we could go all day. I think this was real messy, honestly, and all over the place. And a lot of people aren't going to know what the fuck we're talking about. But it was a pleasure to chat about it with you. It is something you're super passionate about. Means a lot to me. Makes me happy. Um, If for some reason you guys want to hear more about our journey throughout this new season of fantasy. You want to see some some more data? You want to see what we're looking work, what we're working we with? We could maybe do like a oh, once a month fantasy little catch up. Or segment. we could even, yeah, we could send some stuff out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So we're not straying from reality lives. This is real life. You know, when we say reality lives, we do want to clear up. Reality TV is like our number one passion. Dating relationships, all that stuff, but also our reality in our life are things we're going to talk about and. Yeah. Football is huge in our life. It is our reality three nights a week and all day on a Sunday for months. So it would, wouldn't be us if we didn't talk about it. Yeah. And if you didn't like it, you probably stopped listening. Too damn so I'm bad. Guessing, I'm guessing you like it already. So appreciate y'all. Until next time, thanks for stopping by. Bear down. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Good Ow. luck out there, fantasy football participants. Take care, everybody.